Hello everyone, uh, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, I've uh, switched off my entire hi-fi system at the moment. Uh, the reason behind that is that uh, I'm going to swap some equipment. I've uh, bought a used phono preamp, which I'm going to try in my system. It's going to replace the existing phono preamp, which I've used to, to great success for uh, a good, for good few years now. Um, now, the background behind this decision is that uh, at some point, I would really like to try a low output moving coil. Uh, I've, in the past, I have been, and up until now, uh, for, well, over 30 years now, uh, since I've had hi-fi, I've uh, predominantly used moving magnet cartridges uh, moving iron cartridges and uh, also currently uh, a high output moving coil cartridge uh, which is uh, the Denon DL110. Now I bought that cartridge used uh, and it uh, had some hours on it. It was low hours but I've used it con quite considerably uh, to great effect and I, I've really enjoyed the, the Denon DL110. It's certainly given me a um, an idea of, of what a moving coil cartridge can bring to a system. And um, yeah, so at some point that cartridge would need replacing. And I came up with this idea some time ago now that, well, uh, I'd really, really like to try a low output moving coil and have it in my system and, and live with it in my system uh, for a while and to, to try and understand uh, the different characteristics, whether I like it or not. Uh, but um, unless I try it, I, I'm never going to know. So uh, in preparation for that, uh, I've had to look at my at changing my f existing Phono preamp, which uh, has been fabulous. Uh, it's, as soon as I put it in my system years ago, well, what a difference it made. Uh, I'm currently using a Heed uh, Questar, MM phono preamp, uh, which is suitable for moving magnet and high output moving coil, but it's not suitable for a low output moving coil. Um, after buying it and having it for some time in my system, I also bought um, the the Heed Q PSU, which is uh, an off board power supply for the uh, Questa phono preamp. And again, noticeable, no, noticeable improvements that that brought to the system as well. So, um, yeah, I've been sort of like looking around and, uh, well, amazingly, really, I managed to buy a used Phono preamp suitable for moving coil as well. And uh, I basically decided to go the next up in the range, in the heat range. And I have bought here on my sitting on my chessboard at the moment is the Heed Quasar. There you go. And so there's the Quasar, and it comes with a QPSU, which is an off-board power supply. Now the Quasar, it has plenty, plenty of, of, of options as well. If I turn it around. So uh, it'll, it, it is suitable for moving magnet, uh, moving coil low output, moving coil high output, um, moving iron cartridges. So, and you know, I've used Nagaoka in the past, which is a moving iron cartridge. I've used Audio Technica moving magnet, Autoform moving magnet. Um, I got lots of different cartridges. Uh, I currently, obviously, a high output moving coil in a Den and DL110. So, uh, yeah, and it, it, within uh, the, this phono preamp as well, that there, there, there's um, w within uh, the quasar, there's little. If I take the lid off, there's a, there's a number of dip switches there which I can change, uh, which I can alter the gain 
So for now, I'm going to get the new phono stage connected into my system. I'm still going to use a Denon DL110. I'm, I'm not going to buy a, a, a lower put moving coil yet. I just would like to just because I like to introduce things into my system over time rather than get a lot of things in uh, or two things in because I just want to see how it sounds through this phono preamp as opposed to what how it sounded through the, the Questa preamp. So, yeah, and uh, then, you know, I, I'll see how it goes. And um, at some point then I'll be looking at changing the the cartridge as well so that'll be the next thing i'll do and uh yeah i'll do another video and, and let you know how i get on really uh bought some vinyl recently as well i bought done quite a bit of uh well for me quite quite, quite a bit of vinyl shopping i've um managed to buy uh quite a, a few jazz records um i did go to a record fair recently I, I bought a couple of couple of items uh a couple of records i'll show them soon with some also some brand new records that i managed to buy from hmv who have um they've had a little when i went there recently they had a a, a nice sort of like bargain clearance section uh, on jazz and there was a, a number of titles there that i really really uh liked and i bought them um so yeah and i've, I've really been enjoying that i've got the been using the epos es 14s but i've swapped them back out for the riga rx3s now uh, i like to change things around every now and then and uh, just to understand the, the the sort of different characteristics of that each sort of speaker or piece of equipment adds or takes away from my system really so uh yeah so that's it for now everyone and thanks for for taking time to watch the video uh, i'm gonna spend now uh the the rest of uh, the the sort of afternoon and evening you getting the 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 quiz are uh, connected into my system getting playing some music and uh yeah just enjoying some sounds thanks again speak to you again soon Bye bye